It is my great honor to introduce our student speaker, Saul Martinez. Saul is a candidate in the Master's of Education um, degree. I present Saul Martinez. Wow. Gracias. I want to thank and acknowledge uh, President Furman, esteemed guests, colleagues, mom, mi abuelita, my two sisters, Elia and Carolina, friends and professors. Um, I also do need to give a special shout out to my counseling cohort that's here. As a TC student, I need to recognize the influence and the impact of several TC landmarks. The Gospel Library, my home away from home. Joe's Coffee, a 24-hour apple tree market. Pricey, but you cannot beat the convenience. More importantly, Culinart, your cookies and the finds of your excess food were always appreciated. It is a true honor to be standing here today. Sir Isaac Newton once wrote that if I can see further, it is because I am standing on the shoulders of giants. And although he was a brilliant physicist and mathematician, many of us could acknowledge that both my standing here on this podium and our imminent graduation from the best and most comprehensive graduate university of education in the country does not solely represent our drive and ambitions. Rather, it is also a testament to the collective support, love, motivation that we have received from family, mentors, friends, and colleagues. Reflecting on Luton's words, I started to think about my journey here and the giants that have helped me achieve my dreams. I thought about the influence of my father who fought for the rights of the, some of this country's most exploited workers, farm workers, alongside civil rights activist Cesar Chavez. He ultimately became a law enforcement officer, a community icon, and ultimately pushed his partner to safety from an oncoming vehicle, sacrificing his own life in the process. A giant. I thought about my mother, who then single-handedly raised three children after my father's passing, and who really taught me how to be a man. I thought about the homeless teenager at the youth shelter where I worked, who experienced for the first time what it meant to eat together as a family. I thought about the devastation I felt when the gang prevention program for at-risk teens that I also worked at had to shut down due to budget cuts, and the tears of joy that I shed when I saw several of those same teens volunteering as police cadets in uniform only a couple years later. Giants. I've been asked many times by people outside the field of education, why go into that field? Why teachers college? There is no money, only freezes. There is no teaching, only testing. And my initial answer to these statements is three things. One, it's true. It's tough to be an educator. But two, that we see these contradictions, and many of us are already, if not, will continue working to address these issues. And three, that it is not about us. It is about the responsibility we have to serve. It is about gaining the knowledge, support, and access to better serve, empower, and consequently lead a collective shift towards progress and equity. We recognize the problems, but we also know the opportunity. And that is why we are here today. As Cesar Chavez said, we cannot seek achievement for ourselves and forget about the progress and prosperity of our community. Our ambitions must be broad enough to include the aspirations and needs of others for their sakes and for our own. See, Teachers College has provided us what I call a Paulo Freire in education. 
an education designed to not only read the word, but to read and understand the world that we live in. The true gem of Teachers College is not in the classes we have taken, though they are crucial, or in its Ivy League reputation. Rather, it is all of us. It is in our discussions and collaborations, in our meetings with our advisors, in our culture circles, in our therapy sessions, in the programs we create and sustain outside the classroom. Teachers College has made us more critical thinkers, empathetic servants, active researchers, and innovative educators. We're going out into a field, a world full of cynicism and stagnation, a world of school shootings to bombings, a world that backs, bans books and language and that mercilessly separates families through deportation. Conscious educators and mental health providers like us are needed more than ever, and I am privileged to serve by your side. We are not Teachers College. Teachers College is us. And the next 125 years will be judged by what we make of it. As I looked in the mirror today, I saw a giant. And as I look at all of you today, I see the same. Congratulations, class of 2013.